Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I hope you all have seen your GATE results. GATE has announced their result yesterday. And first of all, a big congratulations to all those who have qualified this exam. And uh, like uh, for those who missed it by some marks, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you have your CSI net exam as the next one. Focus on that. I'll talk about that in a separate video. But what I am here about is regarding a particular question which has been changed. The answer key of that has been changed in the in the updated answer key. So a lot many students actually don't know about it and many people uh, know about it. So let me talk about this particular issue. Okay. So there was a question number 20 which was about which was from a coordination chemistry and the answer has been changed from uh, option C to option D. In the updated answer key and that's why uh, many of you are getting your marks less than what you were predicting like 1.33 marks less than what you were predicting or many of you might have increased your marks from 1.33 marks okay so I'm going to discuss about this particular question in detail so straight away to my uh, screen and let's see uh, what this question is about and uh, what is the correct answer all right so this is the question paper of gate 2023 exam for chemistry and if I scroll down to question number 20 that's where the whole discussion is about so yeah this is your question number 20 and uh, if you look upon the answer of this so this right now is the old answer key okay this is the old answer key which was published on the like a uh, few days back uh, when gate has given opportunity to challenge the question or challenge the answer key over there if you go so the question number 20 was mcq type uh, for chemistry the correct option was answer number c or the option c was correct option for question number 20 but the updated answer key many people have challenged this question maybe and because of that uh, the updated answer key which is over here which you can see right now on the website it is now available the updated one is available so now the question number 20 uh, which is of chemistry now the correct answer is option number D. So basically in the question paper previous answer key uh, previous answer was copper and now the answer has been changed to iron that is option number D. So this was a question where a lot of people either they have gained 1.33 marks or they have lost 1.33 marks depending upon whether it was correct or wrong for them. Okay. So that's where we are going to discuss on this particular like we are going to discuss about this question now. So let's look upon the question again and let's see why exactly the answer has been changed. So it says ki the formation of MEN whole thrice 2 plus from MH2O6 2 plus and 3 equivalent of ethylene diamine that is EN is least favored when M is okay. So your reactant basically is this okay this is your reactant and this is your product. So if I write down, so basically MH2O6 uh, 2 plus is your reacting molecule and when it is reacting with 3 moles of ethylene diamine, uh, you are getting, it's a substitution reaction. So basically 6 mole of water is getting removed and you are getting MEN whole thrice 2 plus. So now the question is, when it is least favored, understand what's, what the term is saying, least favored means uh, this is not forming this reaction is not happening when it will not happen when this uh, this product is least stable okay when the product is least stable in that case only it will be least favored right you have to look upon the stability of the product depending upon all these metal ions so you will be having like with cobalt you will be having co en whole thrice 2 plus with nickel you will be having ni en whole thrice 2 plus with copper you will be having Cu En whole thrice 2 plus and with iron you will be having Fe En whole thrice 2 plus. Now many people which have answered option C uh, their reason or their their uh, you know their uh, like reasoning for the correct answer as option number C was John Teller distortion which we will come into. So let's look upon it okay. So cobalt over here is in plus 2 oxidation state, nickel in plus 2 oxidation state. So all the metals are in plus 2 oxidation state right. Uh, yeah, and if you would see, so cobalt is basically uh, D7 system, nickel is D8 system, this is D9 system, this is D6 system, right? D6. So if you fill the electrons, if you fill the electrons, which will be filled in a low spin case, so that is like uh, you are going to have like this, then in this case, in the case of nickel, 
you will be having electron filling like because we have d8 so this is what you are going to get in d9 you are going to fill the electrons like this uh yeah this is how you will fill the electron nine electron and d6 high spin because they all are so it will be filled like this now if you see the only option in which there is no john taylor distortion is nickel okay so there is no john taylor distortion why because symmetric filling of electron is happening in all the others john taylor distortion is there although in copper complex john taylor distortion will be strong whereas in the case of cobalt and iron the john taylor distortion will be weak because of t2g being asymmetrically filled and eg asymmetrically filled being filled okay so john taylor distortion will tell you that okay all these three are unstable or less stable nickel is more stable so nickel cannot be the answer among these three anyone is the answer now among this if you just consider john taylor distortion as one of the uh, condition or as one of the option uh, then you will say ki uh, this is going to be the correct option copper uh, is going to be the correct option and that's why people have marked option c but uh, there are uh, references i guess for this uh, so if you look upon the series which is called as ring william series okay so if you go for that and if you look upon the stability of these ions over there depending upon their uh, cfsc values okay so uh, according to that ring william series you are going to decide that which product will be more stable okay so the answer according to ring william series is going to be iron okay let me show you how so to look upon Irving William series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a reference from a very standard book by Horscroft, and I guess you all know about this book. And for, I would like to thank Satyabrat for providing this reference to me. Okay, thank you Satyabrat for arranging this reference for me. So yeah, this is a fourth edition of Inorganic Chemistry by Horscroft, and in this book, if you go to page number seven hundred eight. Okay, in different edition page numbers might be different. All you have to go in chapter number 20. Okay, chapter number 20 is what we are looking upon. So right now we are in chapter 21. So this is your chapter 20, uh, which basically talks about D or uh, block metal chemistry, coordination complexes. That's the chapter over here. And uh, the Ewing Williams series thing is given at the last of this chapter. Now you have to go to figure number um 2. Uh, 20.14 yeah here it is so it is thermodynamic aspects of the aving william series you can read about it so in aqueous solution water is replaced by other ligands and that's what the question was about okay so uh, water is being replaced by the other ligands and uh, for example here is one of the reaction given to you nickel complex nickel aqua complex edta is being reacted and edta is replacing that so that's the question is about so the order which is being followed is manganese which was not in the question iron was in the question so iron will form the least stable complex then the next one will be cobalt then the next one will be nickel and the uh, uh, the copper is going to form the most stable complex according to this series okay so this is going to be the the order according to ewing william series and it's given this is called ewing william series and is observed for wide range of ligands and all and uh, like a proper uh, explanation of it can be given on the basis of the log beta value okay so log beta value tells you how stable a complex is the more value of beta log beta the more stability you will be having okay so if you look upon the complex is itself given m e n whole thrice we are having iron complex we are having copper complex nickel complex and uh, sorry cobalt co uh, iron cobalt nickel and copper complex and uh, it is forming m e n whole thrice which was asked in the question it's so the value for iron is 9.5 whereas the value for copper is 18.7 that makes again iron to be forming the least stable product and that's why in the final answer key iron is given that is option d is given as the correct option not option number c so if you see this according to the ewing william series the least stable is going to be iron plus 2 and then uh, the most stable is copper plus 2 okay so that is all about it i have given you reference also uh, to show you that what exactly is the answer and that's why the answer has been changed somebody might have 
challenge this question that's why uh, like gate has changed the answer key without challenge no uh, like this would not have been changed so that's why your uh, answer key has been changed from option c to option d in the final answer key of gate all right i hope now this is clear to you there should be no uh, you know discussion and there should be no problem with this particular question now so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so an academy has bought a very good opportunity especially for those who are preparing for the upcoming csi net exam that is june 2023 december 2022 which will be the combined exam the next csi net exam which will be in the month of june right now first of all this offer is only valid for 16th and 17th of march now what this offer is so if you take an academy subscription basically you get all the access for live classes doubt sessions mock tests solve previous year's question detailed notes all these things you get already right along with that if you take the subscription on 16th or 17th of march uh, for three months that is uh, for the upcoming csi net exam it will cost you around 6988 rupees but if you qualify jrf in the upcoming csi net exam then all your application fees will be refunded so this is a limited time opportunity a very good opportunity for those who are serious for their preparation and who want to take an academy subscription this is the time when you can take the subscription you can uh, take all the benefit of the subscription and once you qualify jrf you will get all the money back right all your application fees will be refunded to you so if you are interested enough join an academy you can use my referral code while joining it that is an underscore huda you will get an additional discount on uh, the subscription right so that's it uh, see you in the next one